Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. This is Matthias and we are working on Caldera software once again. Um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to set up a file to be used with a printer that has a white channel. For example, we have this Arizona 318 GL, which is a flatbed printer, and one of the channels is white. And this comes in very handy for a lot of medias that may be transparent or even of a different color other than white, such as a black vinyl or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a file. I have three of them on my desktop right now. And I'm going to drag it to Photoshop. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a channel that defines the areas where white will be printed. So unlike an RGB or a CMYK file where a combination of channels will create different colors, as white goes as a channel like a metallic ink or white ink goes you can only have that ink in only different proportions so from zero to a hundred percent all right so what I'm gonna do is uh, you'll notice that in this file that I took in this photo I took in Venezuela many years ago as a kid um, there are areas that are white and if I were to print this on plexi uh, well first thing I'm gonna be flipping it over mirroring it so that once I see it from the front it'll be the correct perspective uh, so I'm going to be printing this on the back of plexi face down and I want white to be printed after the color ink is laid down but of course since plexi is transparent the white areas here would also appear transparent on the final print so because we have this Arizona 318 that lays down white ink or can lay down white ink we're gonna create a separate channel so uh, I'm gonna go here to my channels palette if you don't see channels in yours go to window channels and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this page icon the create new channel and I'm gonna double click on that channel and call it white exactly like that now, the way this works is anything that is black in this channel, in this uh, layer, is going to print white. So it's the opposite. So if it's black here, it's going to print white on the printer. In this case, if I were to send it this way, it would print the color information and solid white. So that white, depending on how we set it up on the printer side, might be printed first or second or third in fact uh, so that's a matter to be uh, adjusted uh, on the caldera rib side but in this case I don't want to print white the entire area of the image and not always in a hundred percent in this case it's covering the entire image a hundred percent white I only want to lay down white in the areas that are white in whatever proportion I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this white area and I'm going to edit fill with white so that it's currently not going to put down white ink anywhere. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down command on my keyboard and you'll notice a little little square shows up, a little marquee icon over the hand and I'm going to click on the RGB channel in my channels palette. When I do that it's going to select all the white areas in my image. Now, if I go to edit, fill, but this time I fill with black. Notice it's going to fill it to different degrees in different areas. So in the areas of the cloud that were completely white, you'll notice it's completely black. So forth and so on. So what will happen is I will be able to print the color information followed by the white information perfectly so it'll only put down white in the areas where it really truly needs white pretty simple actually so I'm gonna go ahead and go file save as I'm gonna save this with a different name I'm gonna call it bird white ch for white channel included I'm only gonna save this as a tiff and I'm not going to save it with any compression. So make sure you select TIFF with no compression. I'm going to close that. 
I'm going to go to Caldera. Now here, I am going to open this image up with File Manager. I'm going to click and drag down File Manager and select Open. Oops, actually that's incorrect. First I have to select my file. So let me do that first. So I'm going to select Bird White CH for White Channel. Now what's really neat is you'll notice it automatically detects that it has one extra channel. And because it's named White, it knows that it's a white channel. Pretty easy. All I need to do is hit Open. It imports the image. You'll see it up here importing with a little lock icon. I'll hit quit. Now, if I drag this image to my Arizona, and again, it has to be a printer that has a white channel, and I go to my page setup icon, a couple things I want to do. First of all, I want to center this, and I want to print this in inches at 1 to 1. You'll notice it's a 24 by 36. And I want to mirror it because it's going to be printed on the back of Plexi, so I want it to look correct when you flip it over. The other thing I'm going to do is go to this white tab. Here you'll notice it automatically detects white extra channel. So I'm going to select to enable the separation and I want it to use an extra channel that I've set up, that's the default, and that extra channel is the white. It detects which white channel uh, you've created. And down here I can select whether to do CMYK plus white or I can do CMYK then white. I can even select to choose white twice and have a second layer of white to make it denser. So look at what, depending on the printer that you have, look at your printer manufacturer's um, features and this will give you a, a good description on when to use uh, uh, and how to use these layers. So how many times you can lay down each layer. In this case I have CMYK, then white, then white. Excellent. So this is how you set up a uh, file to print white ink uh, in Caldera. Pretty easy.